The student body was kind of a mixed group of people from all parts of Portland, from all different economic and all different educational backgrounds, some brilliant individuals. We were very fortunate to be the ones who came to Jesuit. We were very blessed to have small class size and access to all these wonderful teachers. They brought out the best in us. I think uh, it was to associate with people of high idealism and of discipline. And um, that's what I met in the first Jesuits who were here. They really wanted to, to teach you how to think, you know, how to uh, arrive at, at conclusions uh, regarding issues of life. That was important to me and I appreciated the values they brought. I was assigned to Jesuit High in 1960 as a vice principal. Tuition was uh, very, very low, so we were always struggling to somehow do anything to help make the difference between what the tuition brought in and what we needed to run the school. But my thinking was, was pretty, pretty simple. I thought that there are financial problems because we're not asking people to help us. Part of my job would be to go out and ask people to help. People loved the school, uh, what the school did for their children. They were willing to help, and uh, we turned the whole thing around. I would hear from parents, why can't my daughter receive the same education my son is receiving? Father Hayes was right when he said that if Jesuit High School is really true to its mission of raising tomorrow's leaders, then we have to be educating young women and young men. At that time, there were seven women faculty members, and uh, all the rest, of course, were men, and we had a number of priests. But the young men who were here had never had many women teachers. I think it helped some of them to realize that uh, women were capable. The young women raised the level at this school tremendously. Our girls tend to have a good knack for building community, and that's something that I think has really been an incredible addition that girls have brought to Jesuit High School. The term Ajay Quad Ajis means do what you are doing and do well whatever you do. High school is a time for trying new things and determining what you're good at and pursuing that mindfully, and whether that is in the moment when I'm preparing for a math class or for a competition or going on stage or as an approach to life that I'm going to commit myself fully to fulfilling my gifts and do that for a lifetime. Whether it's praying or whether it's playing or whether it's studying, um, you do it with gusto. You do it with everything that you have. We do it with excellence. When I ask our students the most important things about Jesuit, and the number one answer every single year that I've been has been a sense of community. To accept kids of different faiths and different shapes and colors and sizes. St. Ignatius was a very wise man. What we try to do is incorporate his method of doing things. It's a wonderful method of teaching and problem solving that once our students master that, they have a structure for going out into the world and continuing to do that. Too much is given, much is expected. If you're given a special gift of education, then how do I share the gift? Uh, how do I become the giver after having been the recipient? Jesuit schools, we expect our kids to be countercultural, and I think that's very true at Jesuit. It's not about leaving here and wanting the best house or the best job or the best vacation or the best boat. It's about changing the world for the better. And it happens one student with one person at a time. The gift of a Jesuit education is a gift that is meant to be shared with the world. This is a school that doesn't simply want to get by with preparing you for the world. We want you to change the world. 